I know, chasing that dough, hitting that road, getting that money, man. All I know, loading that foe, kicking down doughs, getting that money, man. We go make it money. We go take it crisp. We go make it money. We go take it the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is the fight between Amanda Serrano and Miriam Gutierrez. Amanda Serrano was able to take a decision, a one-sided decision. I'm going to turn it over to you, Trill Dollar Bill. What was your reaction to the fight? Um, Amanda Serrano. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Just that's Amanda it. Serrano, that's it? Amanda Serrano, that's it. That's what all I can it? say. You know why? Um, I want to talk about women's boxing as a whole. Like, um, it's time for them to start getting these three-minute rounds. Enough's enough. Um. Put some respect on them. Um, that's what I gotta say. I'm I'm done. I'm done with it. I was sitting here. I was talking. I was talking with somebody, right? And then I was and I was like <clears throat> about women's boxing. And I was like, have I been disrespecting women's boxing? You know what I'm saying? Have I been disrespecting women's boxing? That's what the conversation I had with somebody. I'm sorry to get off the camp. We know Amanda Serrano is great. We know she's going to do what she's going to do. I want to see her do other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the fight is with the fight we want to see is the Katie Taylors and stuff like that. And all these girls and, and everybody fighting. But boxing as a, I want to talk about like, I don't know. I just, I was just having this big conversation with somebody. We was talking about women's boxing. We was talking about how they need to have more rounds, how they'll have more knockouts, how they'll be more exciting, and everybody will flock to this to them. And people will give these these women credit, right? Like, and we'll say, "Oh, how they did this? They did oh, how the way she did the chef hook." And if we say it about another fighter, it's like if we I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say we got to respect the women, the female boxers, like. We give them credit for, like, just because they're women, they're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she's she done that. Is it because she's a girl we're saying that? You know what I'm saying? Instead of respecting them as a fighter, I think we just need to put more respect on women's boxing. That's that's how I feel. That's what I feel. Listen to the commentaries and, and everything else, and I just, I just think that we need to put more respect on women's boxing. And I think that these ladies, not even ladies, these fighters, I'm sick of, t I don't want to call them ladies no more. Like, I feel like I'm disrespecting them. Like, when I was talking to somebody, I was like, oh, and then for a lady, and then, you know, for the do this and, and to do that, no, they're fighters. You know, I've been I've been feeling a certain way. And then not, them not being able to have their rounds and not being able to be paid and compensated. And, and, and it's true. You know what I'm saying? You only, you only get what you're worth, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Caden broke it down beautiful on one on one segment when I was going off about them being paid and compensated. But they have to be in there and have to have the fights and some stuff like that. Let's give them that. Let's give them that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's starting to be a little ridiculous now. You know, it's starting to look weird to me. Like these these women, I don't know, they're fighting and, and, and just put some respect on their name. That's just how I'm feeling. I'm sorry, guys, for going on this rampage. But I was just having this 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 uh argument talking about uh female boxing that's a little off script right but that's fine because that's what we're here for we're here to discuss how we're feeling right. i think we all agree that they need more rounds and they need more time i think the pay situation though is something completely different i'll give you an example i'll use tennis no 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 no, no. you broke it down you no no, it. no i know I'm, yeah. I'm 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 saying i'm, I'm using tennis I, I agree with you saying even 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 with what what you're saying they deserve the opportunity to at least more rounds more minutes will give them an opportunity to produce the type of fights that will earn them more yeah, so, I, so I get so I get what you're saying the counter to that would be say tennis where women get paid equal to men 
Serena gets paid the same or or whoever wins a women's tournament gets paid the same as a man and they don't play as much as the men. The men have to win three sets and the women only have to win two. So they actually get paid more money for playing less, but they're still big draws. They still draw as many fans as the men. So that's why like when you say you get paid what you what you generate it's not necessarily a bad thing. The women in tennis get paid for what they generate and they get paid equal to the men, but they don't play as much as the men. So essentially they get paid the same money for less work. So, but no one says anything about it in tennis because the women are such big draws in tennis that it's just understanding. Like no one's like, <clears throat> Yeah, I have to watch Serena. Nah, she's like, they got to go. They want to go see Serena. They want to go see that. So I think the major issue with boxing is when it comes to women's boxing is we need to make it so that people are saying the same thing about Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, about Carissa Shields. We need to get boxing to a point where it's like, yo, I need to go see them fight. Mm -hmm. the same way in tennis people are like, yo, I need to go see Serena. And that's what I was leading into, like making the fights. I don't want to see there in there with like a Gutierrez and stuff like that. We got to get them in there. I mean, that's why I said Amanda Serrano. She's going to do what she was going to do. Like, nah, it's, not, it's not enough like entertaining women boxers to 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 cause that demand. You know, like that. Like all the time we're looking at the top names in women boxing, they're fighting like nobodies. And that's, what I, that's, and that's what I was saying. That's what I'm getting into. Like, that's why I just said Amanda Serrano's. You know what I'm saying? She, like, these people are going to have, they're going to have to stop fighting each other. Mm -hmm. People yeah. are going to have to stop moving up and move to, to fight each other so we can put some respect on this, on this sport, on these women, because they're getting punched in their face too. That's the, the only thing that's a little different than tennis. They're getting punched in their joint. <laughs> but. <laughs> I feel, I feel, yo, I don't. I, that doesn't bother me because, like, I, I, I box. Feel, I have an amateur record, and I, I, I could I go tomorrow like, if I wanted to. If I get punched in the face, it's my choice to do. No, it. no, I feel, I feel so, you. Like, I, I don't. Feel, I don't. Like, that doesn't move me. me. That doesn't man. move me. Like, yeah, no, I, 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 no, no, I'm saying they're getting punched in the, in the face. That's, I mean, that's you. That's, but that's, that's what they choose to do. Yeah, they choose. They do. You but choose the box. You get punched in the face. You get punched in the body. You get punched wherever. That's what I said. And they're getting punched in the face. That's what I'm saying. That's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? That's well, what I'm saying. They should be tennis, able. That's because they chose to play tennis, they, bro. So like, you can't you can't say like, oh, well, the difference is they getting punched in the face. That's the sport they chose. Okay, if yeah. You play tennis. You play tennis. You you subject to other injuries in tennis. You get ACL, yeah, tennis elbow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get tennis elbow. I know. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? and that's. But I'm saying like these ladies, they getting punched in their face. They should be able to get compensated just like some of these guys if you put them in the right fights. That's what I'm saying. If these people put put Serrano's in there with these other top names and put them in there three minute rounds, make it exciting. And these ladies is getting punched in their face. Let them get compensated for getting they, getting in that ring and getting and making these fights happen. And that's what I'm talking about. Put some respect on their names. I mean, <clears throat> I like I, I respect how you're feeling, but you know everybody's gonna feel a different way. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not pushing. I'm not. I'm not pushing my I'm agenda just, on you. I don't I'm, want you to feel like I'm attacking you. No, no, no I don't feel. That, I don't oh. feel personal. Oh, at okay, all. I, I was about, hoping you did. I'm just saying about I'm my talking about my natural view mm -hmm. of women's boxing is that they don't have enough fighters. Exactly, they're not making the big fights, and that's why they don't get paid. Yeah, so and like I agree when, with you. When, like, <clears throat> for example, if you're saying put respect on women's boxing, they got to make you respect them. You and see what I'm saying? saying? Like Serena Williams, for example, in tennis, the one difference in tennis is the best have to face the best. Mm -hmm. There's no picking and choosing to keep playing the number 16th ranked, the number 100 ranked person. When you enter Wimbledon, mm -hmm. at some point, the best are going to play the best every single time. And when you keep beating the best, that's how you become a superstar. Well, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, they keep boxing circles around each other, but they exactly. never fight each other. Exactly. 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 Fields and Savannah Marshall <laughs> keep boxing circles, but they never fight in each other. And that's you what got, I'm saying. Uh, uh, what's it? Uh, 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 the, the woman who just won the title, uh, Bumgarner or whatever, yeah. and you got Michaela boxing mm -hmm. circles around mm -hmm. each other, but they're not fighting each other. They gotta make it. They gotta make it something and, that people want. And that's why I, that's why I started off with my 
Amanda Serrano's. Like I knew what she was going to do, but that's not what the people, that's not what's going to get this sport. You know what I'm saying? With his jumping. What's going to be jumping is if these ladies start fighting each other and we give them the three minute rounds and we make these fights. Yeah, but Betro, again, there's not too many. And there's a perfect example, actually, I have one. Ronda Rousey, you know, actually made more money than the male uh, UFC counterparts. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because everyone wanted to see her win. You know, oh, it's not, and it's not over there. It's other things too, like things sell. Like she, like sex appeal. There's a lot of things that go into it. It's a lot yeah, of things yeah, that go into you it. You make the same argument about Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of things that go fight. into it. With with these, yo, I'm just being real, all right. And and I'm gonna go into the 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 fight in a second. But with a lot of these uh, women boxers, right? They're not even building a story. You know what I'm saying? Like people have to be emotionally connected to you, like. Like a lot of people are when it comes to male boxers. Like, think about those debates. Ooh, team Usyk, Team Anthony Joshua, Team Wilder, Team Fury. Like, people really like buying into these like stories. I don't see that same excitement for women's boxing. I don't see the same excitement for the WNBA. You do see that though in women's MMA, and you see that in women's tennis. You know what I'm saying? And I also always go back to supply and demand. If people know you as a household name, you can demand more money. When you're essentially a nobody, like remember, Amanda said it herself last night, yo, before signing to Jake Paul, no one knew me. Exactly. You know what I mean? So why should she get paid the same amount as, uh, you know, male boxers? It doesn't make sense. No, no, no. I didn't say that she gets- But it's also, hold on, just- you're missing, I, you're missing what I'm saying. You're missing what I'm saying. I'm not saying that she should get paid as much as, I'm saying they should be have the opportunity to get into these fights, and these fights should be made so they can have the opportunity you know what I'm saying? To put women's boxing on the mat. I be thinking that we is it's I feel like we're just saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah, but I think with, with boxing, right? There's a build up, there's a story that we buy into, and that's why we pay for pay-per-views. Women have to do the same thing. With like you have to be more visible, you know, like share your story, call people out, this, that, and the third. Like, you know, like as much as people they talk do. about Marissa. Clarissa is the most visible and Katie Taylor. Those two are like the faces of female boxing, you know, and like, uh, and uh, there's other people too, right? But it's only a handful of ladies. So some, they have to do something else to grow that sport. The way that they're doing it now isn't cutting it. So I won't say that, yeah, they deserve the same amount as men if they're not putting the same amount of work to build the fights up, you know, like, just like I want to get boots the same pay as I would Earl Spence right now doesn't make sense you know what i mean he has to work his way up to get to the spence in the tc level it's only right it's called supply and demand but let me get to this fight real quick all right so you know, i just want <clears throat> one other thing on that you know what it's entertainment value as well mm -hmm. i feel like um that's that's hurting women's boxing because like you look at um tyson fury versus deontay wilder you look at anthony joshua versus alexander Usyk. you look at uh, we just saw Derek Tesora and um, Joseph Parker. Every week, there's a a compelling, entertaining type of fight. And what did we see when Katie Taylor, we're going to get into it last time, we saw a one-sided fight. What did we see when or the man of Serrano, we just saw a one-sided fight. Like um, the, 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 the Tory Hopper in um, fight with Bumgarner, I think that's her, that's her name. That was actually an entertaining fight. Ebony Bridges and um, was it? Espinosa Courtney? just knocked out the girl oh, last night too. Yeah, that was what. But was yeah. You know, we, it's that that's the same girl who knocked out the soccer mom. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like that's 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 where like if you look at um, for example, women's tennis, and I'm using that as an example because that's where it's equal pay. Yo, they're really compelling matches where it's like back and forth action. Like the quality of the tennis to me sometimes exceeds the men. That's why they get paid equal because it's like they don't play as many um sets, right? But the quality is just as good and compelling. And I think that's what women's boxing is missing. And so I, I get that's what you're saying, Trill. Like they need to make the fights that's going to make it more compelling. That's going to make people want to see the action. So I get it. It's just this, this full circle a uh, situation of I think it just needs more time to grow. Like the there, I see I see a good woman boxers coming up. Like every year, there's a new one. I'm like, oh man, she's nice. She's nice. The skills are getting better. And I mm -hmm. think 
in a few years, we're going to have a crop of women. So like we need that division. That's like the lightweight division, that division. That's like the Walter weight division where we're going to be glued to that division. It's like, yo, they can pull us. You know how they do it? Yo, divide these weight classes in half. It's too many weight weight. And like, yeah, because some of them are just by one weight class. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? That's one point. Cut them in half because now then you'll have more women in the same weight classes to get more fights. Yo, there's too many weight classes. If one's at 105, one's at 108. You know That's what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> this makes make sense. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, let me get into I, This is where I'm going to give Amanda Serrano her flowers. Great performance. Violet, man, listen. Uh, how you say that girl name? Gutierrez. Gu- 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 man, man, why you do Blossom like that, man? You violated just- shorty. You know what I mean? It was bad, son. I'm being honest. It was a one-sided fight. The only thing I was like, damn, I wish she knocked her out. I'm being honest. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's the only thing that was missing was, like, that that final violation, you know? But nonetheless, man, like, it was a good fight. It was one-sided, but I was still entertained, you know? Um, And I think, uh, you know, Amanda, to me, next up, it has to be Katie. You have to petition uh, a Katie Taylor fight, you know? Like, you have to call her out. Katie actually has the name already that could, like, you know, move this fight. Now that Amanda's under Jake Paul... You know, a lot of faces has seen her performances the last two. I think they can make that fight right now. You know, definitely in 2022, that fight should happen. But all these other fights, uh, with the exception of um, uh, uh, Clarissa Shields and uh, what's, what's that girl? Um, Savannah, Marshall. Marshall. Savannah Marshall. That one's ready. You know, these two fights that we're talking about are ready. The other ones, you got to build it up more, you know. And so, like, and it's going to happen. You know, like, the women's boxing it's going in the right direction. They just have a couple of changes, more rounds, more time within the rounds. Some stars, you know, man. Uh, weight divisions, and I think after they get that right, women are gonna start finally getting that visibility that they've been looking for, and then that visibility would then equate to equal or even more pay. Because again, it's all about what you can bring to the table. If y'all could bring, you know, great fights, you're gonna get paid uh, um, handsomely for those fights. You know, so that's a, that's how I see everything. TBE. Nah, that was a great performance by Amanda Serrano last night. Yo. You know, she did what she did. She out, um, outclassed Miriam Gutierrez. And, you know, um, it, it was it, it's what we expected. But um, for her for our next opponents, I would love to see her fight, Um, if not Katie Taylor, uh, Jessica McCaskill, because, you know, uh, she's, she's a champion as well. She's a solid yeah. fighter. Are they in the same weight class? Close. Yeah, I don't think they be jumping up and down. So. Close. They're like right there. That's what all I've been saying is they can make these fights and we can make this women division so spectacular. Mm-hmm. So you know, either Katie or Jessica, those two fights would be amazing. You know, Katie, um, Jessica, um, she she's the champion. She beat Cecilia, and you know, Cecilia's still out there too. But no, nobody wants to see her. Um, you know, she needs still needs. I ain't even gonna get on her right now. But you know, um. Uh, I would love to see those two fights. Let's, um, if they can make them happen, and shout out to her win. The victory is um spectacular, and she did what she had to do. I think it was a great performance. Amanda Serrano looked sensational, and just as a fighter, forget gender, it was a great performance from a fighter. The body attack, um, changing levels. Uh, Amanda Serrano did get hit more times than I would like if she was facing a better opponent, but I do believe that was because she was fighting someone who didn't have the punching power that she was worried about. Um, and I think that, like, it is a great point to bring up because, you know, although we're not in complete agreement, I do think that Amanda Serrano should have been a bigger star way before she signed with Jake Paul. You got seven divisions i think it is of of winning titles and you have a a woman who's dedicated her life to the sport like they're talking about she ain't got no man because she because she's boxing or or no partner whatever you know yo hold on on. her trainer ain't her man nah that's what they said now he be saying baby and all that stuff so i'm like you can speak that way that's how you talk yeah (laughs) i talk with that question yo it's fine it's normal 
Well, you ever see like you, a, might, you might come up, you might come to to a family function and my auntie be like, "You want some mashed potatoes or some potato salad, baby?" I don't want you to think she's trying to get with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. You never had like that that one like, called everybody honey, <laughs> you know, whatever. It's like I don't know. Hey, listen, I'm not Me involved. Day. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe he wants it to be more than it is. I don't know. I I don't get involved in other people's uh you know things, but that's the story they were telling is that she's in the next episode even... of Love and Boxing. <laughs> Love and Boxing. <laughs> I was tapping it with me. <laughs> I'm the reason she had good movement. No, but uh <laughs> um, no, nah, but for real, I do, I do, I do think that. I do think that there's something needs to be done about women's boxing. Absolutely. Um, I just don't know. Like, I think we could all agree the rounds and the time, but I do think the way it's promoted is, is playing, is playing a role. And I do think the fact that like promoters are doing what's in the best interest of their brand and not what's in the best interest of the sport. Um, and I think that's, what's preventing a lot of, I'm about to say something that may seem politically incorrect, but sometimes, I'm not going to say all the time, but sometimes when I watch women's boxing, it's not good. You know, like I usually uh, see. I, no, no, I, I agree. Like a lot of them don't even use their body when they're throwing punches. It's horrible. Like what's a, what's a girl that fought in Canada? Uh, like was it yesterday or two nights ago? You know? That that fight was horrible. You know, I'm just being real. Like, but what a guy fights. Yeah, and, and oh, some oh, of the oh. guy fights. And then you got to factor in the matter is you got to try to get as much punches as you possibly can in that two minutes of round. I agree, but the person that actually does a good job at doing that is Katie Taylor. When and I, punches, like, and I think that she punches. fights down. I think her last that was last was horrible. Yeah, we got that coming up, bro. We got, we got that coming up. Like at least she throws punches correctly. Yo, if they gave if they gave these women, I forget. I'm following the bouncing ball, but gee, I, yeah, I, I'm with you guys, man. I, we'll, we'll move on to that. We're looking at the fight and just like, man, why am I? Yo, watching? there's a bad product. See, this is what I'm getting at. This you can't you can't use the fact that there was a bad woman's fight and then because there was bad that that cruiserweight fight on that same card was the worst fight on the card to me. And it yeah, was two oh, guys. Man, those guys ain't gonna get paid. You see what I'm saying? So we but don't I understand that. And the same with women. We're not talking about those women who couldn't throw a punch right. We're talking mm -hmm. about Katie Taylor, who's as skilled as 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 Katie Taylor's more skilled than dudes. A lot mm -hmm. of dudes yeah. that I've seen fight. So is Amanda Serrano. We're talking about Clarissa Shields. We're talking about the top level fighters. Like every every uh woman tennis player doesn't get paid Serena Williams money, doesn't get paid Maria Sharapova money, doesn't get paid Victoria Azarenka money. They don't get paid that money. We're talking about the people at the top of the sport. And so for me, when you look at Jake Paul uh for a fight, having a woman's boxer who's more accomplished than him five times over, only getting recognition because of him. To me, that does say like, yo, well, what are we doing with women's boxing, but mainly with people who are promoting Amanda Serrano? You look at Katie Taylor, I actually think Eddie goes out of his way to get her the exposure, and he does the right things to get her the exposure, and that's why Katie can sell out an arena. Katie yeah. can fill a stadium, but it shouldn't just be one person. Why is Clarissa struggling? Why is it other people struggling? So I do think, you know, I don't think it's – as dire as maybe say, but I do think like there needs to be some changes. Um, and, and where that starts to me is like I said, I think you make that major card where you put like Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, you put Clarissa Shields, uh, Savannah Marshall, you put Michaela versus um, Bumgarner on that, and you make that $80 to watch. Like, you can put that Courtney in, in Ebony Bridges part two. Yeah, Courtney and Ebony Bridges two yep. on that. Yeah, and it's and it's probably a bunch of other good fights. You got Jessica McCaskill out there. Mm -hmm. um, super bad. Her. You got the girl super bad just knocking everybody out. Every day they put in front of her, yeah. they're knocking her out. They got the Olympian young lady who fought last night on the zone as well. She's in there too. Yeah, and, and people are talking like I saw when we when we brought this up before, people were like, oh. 
you they need to make those single fights. Let's be real. No one's going to pay $80 to see mm -hmm. a man in Serrano only fight exactly. Katie Taylor. No one's going to pay $80 to only see Carissa Shields. But you put them on a card together, people will pay because it's like all fights. Mm -hmm. You got like the best woman fighters on one card. It's an all women's card. But here's what it's going to do. It's going to make them that money. Yeah, on that, it will be a showcase to demonstrate the Thank you. Of women's this is boxing. what women's boxing is yeah. about, and mm -hmm. that's when people are going to mm -hmm. not only because you know what's going to happen. People want to see what other people are going to want to see. Once everyone's talking about it, and we're like, "Yo, man, this run on," everyone's talking about it. The boxing world's buzzing. Everyone's like, "Yo, support this card, support this card." It's going to turn into a movement, and then that's when that everyone's going to see, "Yo, women be throwing down like this yeah. is boxing," but it's a real. Fighting one side, and you just punching a girl that just shows up for, to get a paycheck. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. Being up on you know, so I so I agree. Something needs to be done. What will it ever happen? <laughs> I don't know. Let us know how you feel though in the comment section. I know you will. <laughs> please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know we are we the boxing bros. <laughs>